but uh, welcome back. We are back again with a different, uh, different, different, different thing. The last time we spoke, we spoke about bondage shaming. That was what was really running up last time. And today, today, guess what we want to speak about? Uh, of late, as a nation, we've really experienced a lot of political, political pressure. Everywhere, people are speaking about wheelbarrows, people are speaking about aslas and dynasties, people are speaking more about the BBI. Now you've got the BBI, uh, that is the, the, the constitutional uh, change proposal in the county levels. I, I think we've seen a number of counties have already approved it. I don't know what your take is. Uh, I'll, Possibly one day share with you my take on the BBI part of it without an influence by a politician. Now, speaking of influence itself, this is what I want to speak about. Now, I've been thinking about this word influence because of the things that have happened in this country. We have an histories, or rather we have history of this nation because of the political activities that run across this land. I don't want us to reflect on 207, 208 PEV because each one of us, unless the children who have been born after that and are yet to know or really to be told exactly what happened. But as a nation, I know we cannot imagine or think of going back to that state again. But uh, it is so unfortunate that we, it seems that our politicians do not learn. And Nathan, do we learn as the citizens of this country? We are the same, same people who are influenced by these politicians because we are the same, same people who sing about their music. I want to speak about influence. I've just been thinking about this word and, and some thoughts came across my mind. That influence is greater than the person himself. Or rather, influence is greater than the person who has that influence itself. Because influence is like a software that runs uh, through the mind of people. And what, what, what it really does is it changes the character of the people under that influence itself. So I've been thinking about uh, the politics itself, you know, I have not studied political science, so basically I cannot really know how to explain these things, but uh, and yeah, that is just some few ignorance. Eh? But uh, the fact of the matter is, influence effects. It is the capacity to have an effect on a character. That is basically the, the, the general meaning of, meaning of uh, what influence is. You will realize when we speak about influence, um, most institutions or companies that I want to do marketing online, they look for people who have great influence. Because one thing that they know, they know that uh, when we use them great influencers, they have got a character they have built and they are following. So what they intend to use as a, a strategy to bring forth their products to you or their services to you it is to exploit on the character that has already been built in you by the person who you do follow or other what we call influencers so uh keeping that aside i want us to focus more on the political influence in our nation we have got a number of people that we know a political influence that we can speak of uh, speak of Baba, speak of Ruto, speak of President Uhuru Kenyatta, speak of Kalonso, speak of Mondavandi, uh, and all the others that we can mention their names. Uh, so speaking of these guys, whatever crosses our minds, there is their political parties. And the other thing that crosses in our minds, it is the areas or the regions or the tribes that these guys represent or speak for. When we speak about the president, we speak about Mount Kenya. When we speak about Kalonso, we speak about Eastern region. We speak about basically the guys who have got an influence nationwide, but 
when we speak about them also we focus more on where they come from which is so unfortunate because they have influenced us with this mentality that we are a nation which is segregated in tribes or segregated into region they, they are influencers of our region or other influencers of a certain demographic area so these guys when they speak to us one thing that uh, comes in our minds is uh, into these uh, politicians they do separate us or other influencers and the influence that they bring to us is an influence that brings us to a thinking that apart, uh, apart from me being a Kenyan I am also from Mount Kenya region or apart from me being a Kenyan I am also from Western region apart from me being from uh, being a Kenyan I am also from uh, the Eastern region and because I come from these regions it makes me uh, a different person from the other person even though we are all Kenyans this is the logic and this is the logic that is used in the political uh, rules because more it is on a rule uh, it is on divine and conquer rule so we are divided across our ethnic groups so that they will be uh, they will go at whatever they call negotiating tables so they negotiate using our numbers and uh, and agree as politicians to push their own agendas now that was not my take today my take is on influence because i've been listening of late to the speech is that have been given by different persons in different uh, gatherings which is more of uh, the Thimbarios and now the president is on uh, on his journey so looking at it on uh, the hand races these guys have really been speaking out of bitterness speaking out of uh, anger and their anger is drawn to each other they may not really be mentioning their own names but you know basically as Kenyans we know when you speak about something who you are really referring to and the vice versa is true so the president sometime back spoke about handing over power to thieves. Uh, what does it mean to citizens when the president speaks of handing power to thieves? And what does it mean to citizens when uh, the president uh, goes out and begin speaking about negative things in his own government as well as his deputy president goes out and speak ills of their own government without them sitting down and agreeing and just having tunnel wrangles you know most of these companies that uh, produce the things we use in our daily operations they have issues within but at no given time have we seen the issues pasted on the products we use. Let's take for instance the t-shirt I'm in. Uh, it's an Adidas, an, an Adidas. Let's say there are leadership issues in this company. So if there are issues, they, were, they, they did not come out through the products that they have given in the marketplace. This is no different from national leadership because it is like, because the, actually the president is the CEO of a company called A Nation. Then we've got maybe the managing director who maybe is the deputy president. We've got uh, the cabinet secretaries. We've got all those people in leadership standing somewhere. So if these people uses their political muscles or strengths to go and influence people against the other person other than ideologists, I've been listening to 
all these guys in the political field now who wants to vie for presidency come 2022 none of them are said this is what i would do if i am elected unto presidency it is just a matter of criticizing the other person downplaying the other person tarnishing the name of the other person calling each other names thieves others calling others uh which which doctors others calling others uh walevi <laughs> you know when you speak heel about someone i support i feel the pain as a supporter so it happens to every person who is a follower of a certain ideology so if for instance you speak negative about eighth of the candidates let's say kalonso there are people who back this guy they are citizens of this country so it's like telling the people who follow him that uh, they are of no use or rather they they they, they are they are aligned or lost so you begin when when divisions happen in the leadership positions the tree goes down to the citizens because they are characters already have been formed through the influence of these leaders so if the president speaks heel of the deputy president and the vice versa then the followers of the deputy president and the followers of the president begin to have once against each other get into social media you will realize that people are bitter people are speaking uh, negative things people are, are really against each other in terms of tribalism and this has come as a result of bad influence from our leaders it is time that our leaders wake up it is time that our leaders come to realize actually it is not what is in the papers that rule the nation it is not the constitution that really brings peace and cohesion of our country it is nothing on the papers it is all but in the influence of individuals that are in power look at Paul Kagame is my one of my best african presidents rwanda and got an genocide but that is a nation that have got a total different trajectory in terms of growth and development currently as much as our gdp might be higher than rwanda's but looking at their growth rate it is no it is no a mistake to say that they basically will become one of the leading nations in matters development and economies in this continent so my request is to our leaders and to us who are coming up as leaders let us have a change on our influence so that we influence people to the right directions when we, we influence our youth when we influence uh, the old people when we influence the children and the teens in the right attitude trust you me as a nation we will begin thinking of things we can develop how we can use our how we can develop our infrastructure how we can create jobs how we can have opportunities for the less privileged how we can uh, strengthen our education sector how we can grow the universal health care how we can help develop a nation that is self dependent a nation that is economically stable a nation that is of peace and cohesion a, a, a country that has a loving people a people who embrace each other and are people who are not uh, separated because of their political alliances of political leadership therefore I, I wish that the leaders today will change how they reach out to the citizens in matters of politic politics and how they influence us because our character as a nation is built on the influence that is on our leaders god bless you 
even as you keep on sharing this until we we come to a point of opening up ourselves to diversionary or rather different ideas and opinions apart from those of our leaders so that we are not hooked as slaves to their ideologies which are ideologies of selfishness and self-gain god bless you and god keep you i love you guys until next time do not miss out to subscribe on this wonderful channel god bless you i love you